welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video I'll be sharing with you some eyeshadow palettes that I really love. Some of them are a little bit more high end, they're quite pricey but I also have some budget ones so for everyone there's something. These eyeshadow palettes I use uh, for years, some of them, some of them I got quite recently and I'm reaching out for them the most out of my eyeshadow palettes. So if you're looking to buy a new uh, palette I will be sharing uh, my favorites with you. If you're new here on my channel I would love for you to subscribe. I upload every week a new video and I make videos about beauty, lifestyle, I make vlogs because I'm living in Marmaris, Turkey and I'm originally from the Netherlands so if you like my content make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button and of course I also have an Instagram where you can follow me and now let's get started with the video so let's start with the palettes that I have for the longest time uh, but I'm still using them and I'm not ashamed they say eyeshadow you can only use like for 12 months or something but I don't know I don't find any problems with them. So the first palette that I like to show you is a really classic palette and I think most of you guys will know this and it's the Naked from Urban Decay. It's the Naked one and as you can see I used it quite a lot. I traveled with it, um, I brought it with a lot of things so it's well used as you can see. It is such a beautiful and classic palette. I love the shades, the pigmentation is just amazing. So as you can see the colors are beautiful. I use a lot of the shimmery shade, the gold one is really beautiful. I love the matte shades right here, the two brown ones. Like I said I use most of the lighter shades. Uh, they're really pigmented, it goes a really long way and you just need the tiniest bit because it's so pigmented. It's a great mix with uh, cooler tones and warm tones. Um, usually I like a little bit more warm tones on my eyes but uh, the Naked uh, One palette is just really great for both I think. If you need to buy a present for someone or for yourself maybe, um, yeah you can't really go wrong with this one. I know the Urban Decay palettes are quite pricey, I believe it was like 50 euros uh, years back. I know it's quite a lot of money but I'm using this palette for years and I know maybe some people say it's a little bit disgusting but I don't know, it still works really great and um, the quality is still really amazing. Yes, I love this palette. The next palette I got quite recently and maybe you saw it in my live update video because I did my eyeshadow while I was um, chatting with you guys. So uh, it's the uh, Essence palette, it's the Essence Silver Glitter Show eyeshadow palette. And as you can see the packaging is so gorgeous, it's moving, all the glitters inside is just really beautiful. So uh, yes, this one I got quite recently uh, from my sister, thank you so much, <laughs> I know you're watching. So um, yes, it's a really beautiful palette and Essence is of course more um, budget friendly. So um, if you are looking for an eyeshadow palette that is on a budget, uh, check out Essence. Essence is of course really budget friendly, so I'm not sure if all the eyeshadow palettes are great, but this one is really amazing. Unfortunately, the black one broke because I traveled with it. But as you can see, the colors are really beautiful. It is more of a cool toned eyeshadow palette, which I usually uh, not really go for. But this one is really beautiful. As you can see, you got a few mattes shades and uh, more glitters. The gold colors are really beautiful. I love the pink one as well. I'm not a big fan of, of um, really dark shades so I'm not really going for like the blue tone gray shades but I really love these ones right here. Really beautiful palette. I think it's a great present. I mean look at the packaging. It's just really nice. So yes, I really like this one um, and for a more budget uh, palette, I think this is really great. Then uh, this is my absolute favorite palette. Um, this palette I used for my wedding day. I did my own makeup for my wedding and um, I just love all the shades in it. So yes, this is my absolute favorite Holy Grail palette and it's the Morphe 35 F palette. In a lot of videos you see me using this because yeah, I'm grabbing for this the most. Today also I used it on my eyes, just a really natural look, but you can create so many looks with this palette. 
as you can see you've got uh, 35 shades in here you've got uh, a lot of shimmer shades and here all mattes why i love this palette it's because it's quite a warm tone palette which i really love And I just hear my cats, wait a second. Like I said, you can create so many looks with this palette. You got a lot of golden shades, you got some purpley pink tones, um, gray, bronze, and of course all the matte shades right here. And yes, this is just my absolute favorite palette. I used these shades in my crease today, this one a little bit more in my outer corner, and I used a golden shade on my eyelids. And yes, it's just my favorite palette. If you love warm tones, you need this palette. I mean, look at all the shades. Uh, they're really pigmented, really creamy. So I'm a huge fan of this. And I will definitely repurchase this palette um, if I use it all up. But I don't think that's really soon because again, it goes a really long way. So um, yes, the 35F from Morphe. Then we go to another Urban Decay palette and this is the Naked. Three. If you love pink, rosy tones, more like a romantic look, uh, you need this palette. As you can see, it's got gorgeous pink tones. And yeah, this is one again of my favorite palettes. I love the shimmers in it. A few mattes again. I'm not going really for the dark shades again. So this is a palette you can't really create a lot of different looks. Because yeah, the shades are all quite similar, I would say. But yes, a really beautiful palette. Again, really pigmented. Uh, Urban Decay, like like I said, like the Naked One, it's like about 50 euros, so again, quite pricey. I also would love to try the Naked Heat, they're quite uh, warm tones also, so I think I would like that one as well. But um, yes, beautiful palette, so um, yes, the Naked Three. Then the last palette I also got quite recently and it's from a Revolution and it's the, um, let me see, I had Revolution Donut palette in the... You see in raspberry uh, icing and it's this really cute packaging and it smells so amazing like a donut i also wanted to include this one because it's a little bit more fun like the others i showed you are all quite naturals and normal i also go for quite uh, natural colors on my eyes but if you like to have some fun and like to play with some colors um, look how beautiful this little palette is i will link the video up somewhere here that i made uh, on my Instagram I also made quite a pink look using this one um, You can check it out if you like And um, yes, this is just a really fun palette These are not the colors that I would wear on a daily basis But it's just fun to play with Yeah, this color These colors right here you can of course use The bright pink one I wouldn't really wear on a daily basis But um, they also got some different shades Some green blue i believe so um yes if you like to play with colors you definitely need to check out this palette this is again quite affordable um, it's from i Heart revolution you can find it in your drugstore so if you like a little bit more of a fun palette uh, check this one out and it's just really fun also to put on your makeup vanity because it's just really cute so these are the eyeshadow palettes that i really love um, i will link them down below if i can find the links let me know in the comments which uh, eyeshadow palette i definitely need to try and i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and of course you can also follow me on instagram and i hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos bye